Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> Last time we pressed Miss May, or Miss Booby Bubblegum Lady, and found out that she's lying about hearing the uh, clock. And we just surprised Edgeworth here with the cell phone evidence. <clears throat> Protect yes, yes. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Oh, I thought he was getting a bonus, Edgeworth. You have a bit too much influence. <clears throat> Let's hear that conversation. So I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Your Honor, I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. And this was recorded in the morning, before the witness even arrived at her hotel! <laughs> yes, explain, please, Miss Murray. Just how did you know the weapon was a clock?! <laughs> well, well, isn't it, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I got so many. Oops, blue bounce again. Wink. <laughs> Um, yes, it was bought in Paris. <coughs> it does. Uh... No. No. We haven't used this yet. Interesting. No. Made by Larry Butts. <coughs> <laughs> Wait. Huh. Which one's in police custody? I didn't know that there was two. Nice pun there, Phoenix. <laughs> oh, she's not on sale today. Another one. Ooh, 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 ho, ho, ho. Okay, like sometimes. Yeah, I was gonna say sometimes at the end they transform and go like crazy, just like that. Look at that. Look at that boob bounce. Yeah, there you go. She's transformed into her final form! <laughs> That's always the best part. Um, uh, porcupine head, huh? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and, and she should die for it. Or die! That's not very nice of you, Miss Faye. <laughs> Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witnesses will remain calm. Aw, oh, she's back. I, I liked her in her alternate form. <laughs> I'm sure she'll go back. Hmm. Good bounce. She'll end up going back that way, I'm sure. There's one, in the game I played last time, there's one that turns into like a freaking harpy. That goes pure evil mode, it's crazy. How do you know the weapon was a clock? Look at that snarl. Um, no dear, does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. This April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... It's one of these two. Probably this one. Um... That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known to think it was a clock. <laughs> and I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. <laughs> Watch up. Have a look at this. Ah! <clears throat> yes, I was snooping in her room. I'm pretty sure that's breaking and entering or something, even though I didn't break. I did enter, but I didn't break. <clears throat> Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss May, Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Haven't heard from you in a while, Edgeworth. How the hell is that irrelevant? <laughs> Yes, I do truly claim that. <laughs> um. 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 What? Did she say this again? Uh, and it tells you the time. 
But we've already used this as evidence. That's interesting. <laughs> Beep. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to me for me. Again, was it this time? It's a clock. There you go. <clears throat> That's all I need to know. Miss April May, used a wire type to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Oh, God, that face. Shut up, Edgeworth. <laughs> how is it ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> la 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 <laughs> Oh gosh. Um. Um. What? You are murderous. Go full harpy mode again. Stop crying. <laughs> Crap. Um, <laughs> I don't think she did it, actually. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have to. Um, yeah, you have to answer the question, Miss May. <laughs> no, you can't. But she's going to try. Now we have to prove otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Food bounce. Ha! I'm not the first man who's thought, oh, well, I'd like to see her pull that off damn straight. I can and will. Wow. So, thank you for telling... I wonder how many people who play this game are old enough to get that joke. She's a slut. <laughs> Uh, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Oof! Okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Yeah, you know, you're getting room serviced. Room serviced by that bellboy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. <clears throat> then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee, boob bounce. I think I'm making this up. Ask the bellboy, wink. Virgo, the witness was on the scene at the time of the murder. <laughs> I didn't say she was the murderer. Oh, I guess Phoenix did. But like I said, I don't think she was the murderess. I think... <clears throat> um... <laughs> I have to prove she's linked to the trial without actually doing it. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything left to get, be gained by examining this phase. Let's call the bellboy. <laughs> Why? Because he doesn't want to lose. <laughs> it's not under your authority to call the witness. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure, pretty certain that, um, <clears throat> what's your face was not the actual murderer. <laughs> and I, you can't make deals like that with the prosecution, not in a trial like this. 
<laughs> Wait for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service, sir. <laughs> Just put down the tea set. <laughs> Another testimony. <clears throat> Um, call after 8 in the evening from Orgasmus May. After 8 in the evening. Okay, um. I heard the precise the time requested, my course, and I delivered the iced coffee to Orgasmus May herself. I see the defense may begin cross examination. Okay, there's not much there. So, precisely, the, the key terms you're looking for there are precisely. <laughs> um, that's not important. <laughs> that is important, but this is the... Um, there we go. Uh, what do we have? No, no, no. Wait, I don't have a time of death? Crap. Um... Uh, okay, then let's press him on that. <clears throat> Precisely nine, boy. I guess you wanted an alibi. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of pressing at random here. Oh crap, he got in though. He got in that dress. <laughs> ho ho ho! Embracer? What the hell's an embracer? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you got more than that. <laughs> he definitely got more than that. Can, I, can you lose? Uh, sure. <laughs> if I give up, my mail loses. Um. <laughs> Shut up, Edgeworth. You're the charade. <laughs> Crap. Um, okay, let's see. Let's think about this one. Check-in would be what time she checked in. I'm not sure that's really important. Room service. Crap, I don't know what the hell. Um, okay, uh... Crap. I've got nothing. If I can lose this, you're about to see me do it. $18 is a charge, I see. $18? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? <laughs> Ice coffee for two. Aha! Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Edgeworth! I object. That was objectionable. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the plot thickens. Um, the good barrister, Mr. Edge. Aha! <coughs> <coughs> Oof! 
Yeah, you should be held in contempt right now. <laughs> Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been in the murder. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendants. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple, it was. Well, it wasn't. Uh. Hmm. Okay, um. The man who checked in with Miss May! Oof! <coughs> <coughs> However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder! <coughs> yes, Edgeworth. Oof! Upstart amateur that's beating you. <laughs> so, recess. Yep. Like I said, these things can drag on and on and on. <laughs> Yeah, you're damn straight. That was amazing. <laughs> Shut up, Maya. <laughs> um, you go back. No, you go back to jail. Yeah. Um. Uh-huh, learning her charm. Oh, okay, so Miss May's arrested. Interesting. She's probably at the detention center. And I'll be talking to her. I guarantee you I'll be talking to her. Um, okay, you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis, don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of Miss April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that I got left in the record. Okay, I'll have to read that. Um, anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. My eyes not belong in that detention center. And it's up to me to get her free. To be continued. Okay, let's save. <laughs> So yeah, these trials can get pretty dang long. And remember, this is only the second of five. So this, I'm gonna be chunk, check, I'm gonna be yeah, um, chugging out quite a few videos. Okay, I'm, I don't really want to talk to her right now. I want to read this evidence. Oh no. Um, victim dodged an attack and ran to the right. Okay, right there. Ran to the right, but I'm pretty sure the broken lamp was to the left. So. Okay, well, that is all for today. Um, yeah, I have the profiles of all the people. Anyways, um, so I think that's all the videos I'm going to make today. I've made quite a few, and I'm getting a little bit tired. So I uh, will get right on uploading these, and see you tomorrow, and I'll probably make the next one. So y'all have a good afternoon.